the time-worn scrolls of life's ancient tapestry, there lies a revelation, a timeless truth etched in the annals of human existence. It unveils, with the eloquence of ages, three earthly motives for wedded vows, three pillars upon which the sacred institution of marriage rests. First, there is the deep desire for a symphonic union, a longing as old as love itself. When two souls, like harmonious instruments in an orchestra, come together to create a melodious composition, there is a magic that transcends the mundane. It is the resonance of hearts and minds, a duet of emotions, each note in perfect harmony with the other. In this union we find the echoes of our deepest longings, a melody that carries us through the grand overture of life. The second motive is the sacred duty of birthing celestial heirs, a responsibility bestowed upon lovers who dare to intertwine their destinies. Within the sanctified bonds of marriage, a couple becomes more than two individuals. They become the architects of a future generation. In the cradle of love, they nurture and guide, shaping the character of those who will inherit the world. Each child is a celestial heir, a star born from the love of its parents, destined to shine brightly in the constellation of humanity. Lastly, there is the vital spurning of amorous trespasses, a promise to guard against the treacherous winds of temptation. In the garden of love, where vows are exchanged, trust is sown as a fragile seed. The faithful promise to cherish and protect one another, to shield their love from the corrosive forces of infidelity. It is a pledge to safeguard the sanctuary of their hearts, to be the unwavering sentinels of their affection. These three motives, like ancient verses in a sacred text, remind us that marriage is more than a union of bodies, it is a communion of souls. It is a covenant with history, a vow to the future, and a fortress against the storms of desire. In the time-worn scrolls of human experience, these motives endure, as enduring as the bonds of love itself.